Rawr. I was tempted to fix my lipstick, however, I'm about to walk into the dentist, so it might not necessarily be appropriate because they'll be cleaning my mouth. Um, I just had a very moving conversation with my Aunt Eileen. Uh, she's actually a very well-established um, watercolor artist, and uh, I want to say she's very tight with Source. Um, her energy is just phenomenal. She's been one of the most helpful people in my life. Um, and it's funny because we don't talk all the time. And after I did the video segment that you just saw, um, intuition inside kept, I kept going crazy. Like I was like, I need to call somebody. Like I don't, I, I needed to talk to somebody about this one particular thing. And her name became clear as day that that was who I needed to call. And I went ahead and I did that. And she brought um, attention to some key points of information, like how important it is to, uh... so I'm cheating, okay? I have like little notes written down on the back of a card that are a uh, slight replica, but as you can see, it's just like, uh, I got smudged for my pen and it's kind of messy. And the original notes are actually in the telephone, so it's kind of hard to get to. But one thing, one bullet point on here is about um, basically being available to bring the highest energy to the planet. That's very important. Um, it's important to also lift people up with the word, with my words, instead of, you know, lowering the vibration or making things less pleasant, right? Um, she mentioned how denial and fear separate you. You could say from God or from source or from your happiness, from your passion. Uh, fear and denial will separate you from what really is going to make you happy. Uh, never concern about the material world. Trust the process. Trusting the process is another huge thing. Um, it's about the growing process like everything is completely perfect exactly as it is now and we are meant to do that and how much better we are today than yesterday and making a conscious effort to do that uh, those are basically the points that's on the back of uh, <laughs> this food place I like to go to actually that I've been saving up stamps to which I actually forgot to do the last time I went, which stinks because there's like three things that were purchased that could have been totally stamped on the card. But moving right along, right? That's about attachments to material things. Um, and she also mentioned something that's actually kind of hard to like bring into words. And I could attempt to... Um, It's mentioning about when you bring worship to like money or the material things and that worship kind of counts like yeah when you're worrying like I'm not gonna have enough money or uh, when you worry about the material world in some aspects like you're you're putting worship into it like oh my god if this guy leaves me my life is over like it's it's kind of like not trusting the process of what's going on for you though at the same time I do have an uh, insatiable if you will a type of belief that's like um, if you really want to save your relationship that you really have to commit to doing so and I'm huge into transparency um, I don't believe that you're gonna marry the one if you're not completely upfront about everything and I mean everything like mentioning your kinks and like the things that you hate about yourself is usually the like instant go-to thing for me you know um, like what's going to scare my partner if my partner knew these things like I like to immediately get those things out of the way so I can have people who uh, genuinely love me for who I am not who I'm pretending to be in some ways like I'm kind of like self-conscious about my hair 
and it's uh this is a reflection of some self-destruction you could say uh i had a bit of identity crisis you could say or uh, like there's so many different labels that could be laid upon me i just felt like it was time and you know something that's on my bucket list and i don't know if i'm ever really going to do it me when i'm older i want to shave it completely one day to me there's something like really empowering about that like about that statement itself like of course i i time travel in historical moments of time where women were obligated to shave their head and uh something like that like really hits me to the core that makes me feel like i have some kind of like past life connection which speaking of past life i would love to uh connect with somebody that actually does that professionally i'm quite frankly uh going to be seeking that out I think I know somebody that does exactly what I'm looking for thanks to someone else having uh, those type of experiences so also when you have short hair uh, I don't have many options on hairstyle but it's been a lot of fun actually oh well that didn't go so well <laughs> I like playing with hairstyles you know, when you don't really have hair, it's not really something you can do. So, when I get hair, I like to, uh, to see, hey, saying that out loud just triggered a thought for me of something that happened with my dad. When I shaved my head, my dad basically chewed me out, talking about how one of his clients, their kid has cancer and can't grow hair and how I should be grateful for my hair and how like I guess in his eyes in some way I was like destroying myself which I suppose there's like some truth to that because I didn't want my looks to own me and I didn't want people to only like me for my looks so I drastically changed how I look plus I missed my mohawk plus there was tons of begging for me to bring that back and that also obviously like pushes you a little bit over the edge to do it but at the same time, I feel like I got that out of my system enough. I'm I'm on another level of a goal that I always wanted to do, and that's to grow my hair uh, Lady Godiva style. So that's kind of a goal. I'm also huge into, um, you know, our hair follicles basically being uh, extensions of our nervous system. And I like to think, or I like the belief that my intuitive abilities will increase with the growing of my hair and not shaving my arms and all that good stuff. I shaved my armpits, which uh, armpit uh, looks pretty dirty on this shirt right now, unless it's just the style of the t-shirt, I guess. It's kind of gross. Pretty freaking gross. It's gross. Um... <laughs> Maybe I should get another shirt. Speaking of another shirt, I actually really, really, really am yearning to go picking through thrift shops and to find more colorful shirts because it was either white or black. And then I have like two or three other colored shirts that I was just like, I didn't feel like wearing any of them. I'm almost kind of like disgusted at my armpit right now you guys like I almost want to show it to you even more you know that that cue that 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 means I'm gonna do it usually I'm trying not to but I'm gonna do it look at it see by me showing you like I can look at it too like which part of that is an armpit stain versus a uh, part of the shirt what's, what's this side look like it, it did it I can't tell like what's lighting and then what's is there a stain it looks like there's kind of a stain it's kind of gross think about that like our body creates these chemicals and then uh why is it colored it's also kind of gross is that is that because I've been eating nasty food or is like everyone's perspiration a different color or is it not really a different color? It looks like it's a different color. Like, it just... It's pretty gross. Part of me likes gross stuff. 
Like, I love getting dirty. Like, I wanna, I love playing in mud. And, like, I would be all about four wheeling, I think, if I could just go out and do all that. I think that would be about it. <sighs> it's hard to have, like, a, a spiritual and educational conversation right now. I'm definitely in a weird spot energetically right now. And I have a lot of figuring out to do because I ha I, I'm confused how to spend my time right now. Museum's opening at 4. And I can go sit there and do readings. Yet, I have homework to do. And honestly, it's going to be really easy. To it's so easy with this art class. Like, I could go to the school, take the test, fail the test, the test give you the answers, then take the same test and the same questions again with the answers and pass. So I didn't even have to read. But I'm choosing to read. I still have one chapter left, so I guess technically I could read that while I'm there. Uh, I'm not 100% certain there's going to be a lot of people walking around. I'm not sure if I should just wait for the weekend and just like knock out my work today. And then work at the museum tomorrow. Homework's not due till midnight tomorrow. Uh, something else that I realized too, by the way, is, um, how do I say? Technically there's only one week left. So what I'm thinking is I should read ahead. I should go ahead and read the additional three chapters, which I'm imagining now that that is something I could do at the museum today. However, I think I would feel better about myself if I just knocked it out. See, like, because I'm my own boss, like, I can choose to take the day off, but is that stupid? Should I be working every moment I can? Do I go work there for a little bit and then try to make it to the library before they close? Because the library is closed on Fridays, which I can technically take the test at home, but I do really enjoy the test at the school. Finding my own intuition and my own voice and the own things that come through is frankly the hardest thing to do. Especially when I always have so many different people telling me what to do. I'm torn. Part of me wants someone to be like, listen, do this, this, and this, and you'll be okay. Just just do this. You know, I want, I want steps, baby steps. But the other, another side of me is all about like, hard head. Me. Gotta do things my way. I'm the leader. I'm in control. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> but I feel like I want this because it's not really there. Or at least I would like to know things that I'm not thinking of, you know? I want, like, other options. Things that I'm not thinking of or that someone else isn't putting here. I just want, I just want it out there, you know? Um, so that's that. I'm kind of dreading this whole uh, dentist experience. It's going to be another uh, at least a hundred bucks, right? I don't, I don't have dental insurance, by the way. But you guys. And like, I used to never go to the dentist, just so you know. I mean, when I was a kid, my mom, she, she insisted. And then when I got older, like, she would always scream at me how I basically am ruining all her work. And I just, I would be really bad about it. And then uh, I got this Groupon, and I got to come here a year ago, or six months ago. Six months ago, that sounds more right. And then, uh, I don't know, I set an appointment for six months later, and I think she said it was like 100 bucks. So I was like, all right, let's do it, because I really loved her. I really loved her energy. Uh, she's very uh, connected to Source, you could say. Uh, she goes to Church on the Rock, I think it's called. I forgot. Well, I remember her being really awesome and uh, has great culture and I really like her energy. So I think I'm actually going to head in there early. Maybe I can get out early. I really just kind of need some time with my thoughts to try to figure out what I want because I don't even know. So, I love you. Thank you for listening and being present with me. I hope you have a great day and you're doing what makes you happy.